In this video, we're going to talk about the magnetic fields from a solenoid. Now, a solenoid is simply uh, this object that you see over here, right? So typically involves some sort of a cylindrical shaped object and you wind some wires around it. And of course, you pass a current through it. And so, first of all, how do we deduce the magnetic field pattern? Again, we are going to use the right hand grip rule. And now your four fingers will simply wrap around the solenoid in the same way as the current does and so in this case you grab imagine you're grabbing the cylinder with your right hand and your four fingers must loop correctly okay and so in this case your four fingers should be pointing upwards in front of you and you notice that your thumb is pointing to the left and this will always indicate the direction of the magnetic field through the solenoid and so there you go there it is and remember, what happens around the solenoid is that you'll get all these other magnetic fields coming in, like so. In fact, when you pass a current through a solenoid, you are effectively turning the solenoid into a bar magnet, as we have seen before. Okay? And so that means, if you remember, Right within the magnet itself, the magnetic field must always travel from south to north. And so the south pole of this magnetized solenoid will be here. And the north pole of this magnetized solenoid will be right there. And that is the magnetic field pattern of a solenoid. As for the quantitative part of it, the magnetic field strength or the flux density inside the solenoid is given by mu naught ni. Mu naught is 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 in SI units. I is the current through the solenoid. And N is what we call the turns per unit length. Turns per unit length. Not the number of turns. That is, that is actually a common mistake. And so this will, you can think of it as the total number of turns in the solenoid divided by the length of the solenoid. Think of it more like a turns density. And so the flux density of a solenoid is not dependent on how many turns it has, but rather on how close the turns are together. And so if we look at this over here, you can say that B is the flux density in the region over here when you're well inside the solenoid. Okay, And so in actual fact, these field lines should be parallel to each other and uh, quite evenly spaced, okay, the field lines inside here. But once you reach near the ends of the solenoid, so maybe we're talking about over here and over here, approximately, approximately, your flux density will half. Okay? But you don't actually have to know this. Right? For the A-levels, we would typically be always using this formula over here. 